What's going on you gamers? Today I'm going to be showing you how you can get your hands on one of the coolest looking weapons in the game. That's going to be this melee weapon here, the Atom Splitter. So if you want to find this humongous sword that looks absolutely awesome and has a really cool special skill, then stay tuned. That's coming up next. Welcome back everybody, today we're on the hunt for another special weapon and this time we're going to be looking for the Atom Splitter. Now in order to pick this weapon up you're going to need to be travelling over to the world of Nerud and then you're going to have to go over to the Fort of the Formless. You're going to want to spawn in there and make your way through the instance in order to get your hands on this weapon. Now be very mindful in this facility there does tend to be quite a lot of enemies that hit very hard and there's a lot of elite enemies in here so you will want to have a quite strong setup before you go on the hunt for this sword. But the payoff is definitely going to be worth it. You're going to be fighting off quite a few enemies within this facility, making your way all the way through. Like I said, tackling quite a few elites as you go, so you definitely want to stock up on your ammo. But eventually you'll make it through to very close to the end of the facility, because there'll be one of these doors that usually signifies a boss is coming up or some kind of an event. If you go straight through there, you will have to run a kind of gauntlet in order to complete this area fully, but for us, we're just going to go over to the checkpoint and activate that in order to make sure we've got this as our last save. From here you're going to turn back around and you're going to head out the exit that you previously came in. If you wait here for a few moments, be aware sometimes there can be enemies here which makes things a bit tougher, if so you'll need to take them out. But the main thing you're going to be looking at will be this robotic arm off in the distance that's going to be messing around with all of these type of cryopods. You're going to be waiting for it to start turning and then fully complete turning the whole bunch of cryopods. After a lot of failed attempts, I found it was best, I roughly counted to about 4 in my head, and then you want to run to where I'm going now. Just before you make this jump, make sure you go out of run, so that you do a standard jump, and then you're going to be able to make it onto the platform that the robotic arm is raising up. After that, you're going to turn around, and you're going to look for a little steel ledge, make your jump, and then you're going to make a jump straight onto there. Don't worry if you fail this because you're going to spawn straight back where we were previously and you'll be able to make this attempt as many times as you want. But now, nah, nice and easy, you're just going to make your way forward until you see this opening just here. Then you're going to want to drop down and straight in front of you is going to be the item you're after, the Atom Splitter. This sword is a very unique sword. It is absolutely amazing to wield. I really like the looks of it, the purple glow on the outside. And also, if we have a little look at its unique move, if you go into a neutral evade and then you go with a standard attack you'll be able to do a long range special or if you do exactly the same a neutral evade then go into a heavy you're going to pull off a move that goes even further. This does quite a bit of damage it can take out normal enemies very nicely and it looks absolutely awesome as well. Hopefully that's helped a few of you guys and girls out. Let me know in the comments if there's any weapons that you really enjoy playing with. Stay tuned for a lot more Revenant 2 content from me and as always Take care, I'll see you on the next day.